Standing Asmongold has been a disaster for Twitch. Would you look at that? <laughs> Who could have seen that one coming? I surely didn't. Ever since banning Asmongold, things have been getting a lot worse for Twitch. Yeah, they and have. things have also been getting a lot worse for that hateful internet activist, Frogan. From Frogan! the Asmongold subreddit, they say, Twitch's ban on Israel featured on mainstream Israeli television channel, which we- Dude. Asmongold? Was on Israeli TV. Do we have anyone in chat who, who can speak Hebrew? Do we have anyone in chat who can translate Hebrew? You can see an image of right here. Pulling up the clip itself, they play the portion of Asmund Gold's recent live stream. Well, you know, recent, right before he got banned. Oh, this is, this is probably him translated. Uh, the one he apologized for. So they play that and then they comment on it. But the commentary is in Hebrew, so I'm not going to play that. I don't know what they're saying. But just know that this is a thing that happened. And there was also... Yeah, okay, he d d doesn't play it. Okay, to be fair, the subtitles here was probably just him talking about it. I really do wonder what they said. This is a thing that happened. I really do wonder what they said. And I'm going to be off. Okay, there was also this part. Please, I need, I need translation! English auto generated. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wait, no. Translate. Auto translate. Unto. English. Twitch has been blocking the creation of accounts. Twitch has been blocking the creation of accounts from Israel? Wait, what the f is happening? Yeah, this, this is happening email. too. Like, literally. Twitch's excuse was, uh, uh Hero Hama probably show it. Thanks, auto translation. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> really, really helped. Twitch had banned Israeli accounts from signing up onto Twitch as in making new accounts. If you tried making a new account, you wouldn't have been able to. Twitch's excuse for this was. Uh, we uh, closed it off on the on that specific date when it happened. I think October twenty twenty three, and they forgot to enable it back on, apparently. But they said if you still were able to verify via phone, you would be able to have been signed up. And other and other people said no, no, we couldn't, not even with phone verification. So yeah, no idea what's going exactly on there. They're probably afraid of another Christchurch massacre. Yeah. Twitch support saying, hey, I can't create an account because I'm Israeli. And then Twitch support says, hey, blocked country. Wait, this is also on the Israeli TV. This is also on the TV. IP? We are very angry. I recently found out that there is no option to open a Twitch account because they blocked us. This guy's complaining about it too. I guess nobody just, nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> nobody. What is it about Twitch as a company that functions that makes it that, so these kinds of people are enabled? Wait, do they do geo bans on like war related no, locations? No, no, like what is no. going to happen? Like literally, why? Why are they geo banned? Like blocking geo locations? What's the point? Like what the fuck? Ukraine, no, Russia, Russia, nothing. Russia. Nope. There was this one guy. You guys, you guys sent a news report in about that. I didn't talk about this since I don't really want to talk about too many politic political issues. But you guys did send in a news uh, react thing. Let me find it real quick. All right, found it. Here it is. Senior manager and Twitch tr and trust safety suspended from Poya job for anti-Israel sentiment. This is true. This I I looked this up, chat. I looked this up. This is so fucking crazy. This actually this person happened. Was so publicly fired. Yeah, okay? here. So publicly fired for being an anti-Zionist, anti-Semite person. From his previous they job. They have fucking news articles about them. A and governmental you know where their job. Next job is Twitch. 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 Next job is at Twitch. Can't make this shit up. Can't make this shit up, man. Of destiny, I'm a rich girl. Then, with over eleven thousand likes, stop anti-Semitism would say. Twitch CEO Dan Clancy has enabled anti-Semitism to spread like cancer on Twitch. His he, top revenue earner. He has. Hassan it Piper. feels like it. Like I don't know if really. Dan Clancy is just being the sacrificial fucking lamp in this case, yeah, man. Like, if he's just being, like, the person 
that everyone blames, but he actually doesn't know what's going on, you know? Usually when you blame someone, you blame the CEO. But it might have been a couple lower downs. That Mujim video was right. Which one? I didn't see it. But I don't know if it was Dan Clancy himself or if it's like other people as well. Ultimately, it falls back onto Dan Clancy because he is the CEO. It's real, they lost 70% of sponsors because of Esmond being suspended. Damn! Deserved. Fucking deserved. Is rumored to earn a seven figure multi million dollar salary while pushing anti Semitic, pro terror content under Clancy's watch. Dan Clancy must resign. With 62,000 likes, <laughs> Tectone over on Twitter would post. I should this <laughs> Oh, techy fucking based. That post is so fucking based. I love techy man. Would post this image saying, I have no pity for American soldiers, referencing the hateful activist streamer known as Frogan. And my apologies, the full image won't fit on screen. Let me fix that for you. There you go. <laughs> Thank now you. you can take a better look. As for Frogan, I had mentioned at the intro that things were also getting worse for her too. And yeah, let's she take got a look banned. at that next. Thankfully, In man. In a now locked post over on our live stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw this after I went off. Like, after I went offline on the stream, I talked about her. She actually had a donation goal. She didn't reach it. She had a donation goal. Full on serious saying she will recreate 9-11. Now, 9-11 jokes here and there. I can, I can get behind them. You know what? Sure. I think it's good to make, to be able to laugh about a situation, to like cope with it. Like humor coping, you know? Like humorous coping. I, I forgot the actual term for it. Um, but actively promoting this as a donation goal, that's not just that's not making fun of the situation. That's not making fun of the situation. That is delicious. Straight up bad. Spo Frogan spreads hate and gets banned. Gideon pokes fun at Pokemon gets erased. Well, didn't Gideon hate rate Pokemon? Like, if I remember that correctly? I'm not... A uh, it's been quite a while, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be funny, but it's how you perform the joke. Exactly that. Whether or not it will be funny or blow in your face. Exactly that. Exactly that, man. For example, I think an exact quote unquote acceptable joke would be saying fucking. Was it Ubisoft? No. A company that's making EA, right? No? The company that's making fucking uh, Black Ops campaigns. <laughs> Recreating the 9-11 events. <laughs> okay, let me find the Esmond clip on it. Let me find the Esmond clip on it. <laughs> here it is, here it is. Oh, so 9-11 might be a playable map or a playable <laughs> campaign in the new Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Activision, uh, Activision. Dude, yeah. this is gonna yeah, upset yeah, some people. Sorry. I'm gonna say it. I think they should do it. Bro, that would bring <laughs> Call of Duty so back so fucking hard. Dude, who wouldn't play it? In the airport, shooting this... the terrorists from 9-11? Oh my, and like, can you imagine, like, this, the music, I think Bruce is acceptable. Springsteen, born in the USA, playing in the background? Oh my god, everybody would fucking play it. Uh, you prevent the planes and the towers come down <laughs> anyway? joke that's an acceptable joke man imagine that's the start of the game <laughs> that's the campaign what the <laughs> fuck that would be so good oh my god historical fiction maybe that can be an assassin's creed account. game in the next 20 years make that into the next assassin's creed and i'll forgive every 130 dollar game you make that that's a good one this one on the other hand that's ridiculous. Well, from just 18 hours ago, we can see the title, Frogan had a donation goal to celebrate- I'll be honest, I'd play it same. Same. Absolutely fucking same. 11 by baking a cake, recreating the terrorist attack. A top comment on the post reading, Rising Star three years running. 
That's referencing yeah, how she was apparently stars. listed on Twitch as like a, a rising voice. star for three years, which people point out is an oxymoron. It doesn't really make sense. Like, how are you going to be a rising star but never actually hit the star mark? And also awarded Legendary because Woman sucks. of the Year uh, in 2024 by Twitch with guaranteed front page content during the whole year too. So Twitch was ridiculous. massively promoting her. Same. To uh, put some context into this, um, her being on the front page, that was from... Not just from the front page. That that um, feature you guys saw her have, right? Where she had those stupid ass uh, homeless tier list. No, sorry, the Habibi tier list. The Habibi tier list with the bad homeless standing for Jews at the bottom. Where she put all the Jews in. That one. That one was a TwitchCon. That was a TwitchCon, by the way. And on the front page. Disgusting. Person who openly disparages US veterans. Also, also, sorry for pausing again, but to add even more context, everyone but Hassan, who was also part of that podcast, quote unquote podcast, right? If you want to call it that, got banned. Everyone but Hassan. I wonder why. They banned everyone because that wasn't okay, but Hassan? Nah. Not Hassan. Not Hassan. No. Not Hassan. Which Disgusting. does indeed seem to be- Sorry, I'll go back a bit. ...front page content during the whole year too. So Twitch was massively promoting her. Same person who yep. openly disparages US veterans, which does indeed seem to be against Twitch's own TOS, but hey, it selective is. enforcement. Wishing them to get PTSD and no healthcare, celebrating terror attacks on the country, yet despite her hate of the country, she still seemingly lives in the USA with- Which I don't get. Oh my God. I'm gonna show another clip to this right after this. In regards of this man. No plans of moving outside of the country. Which pissed the me the fuck off. The enormous amount of hypocrisy from this internet it's, activist yeah. is something that many people have taken umbrage to. Now, yeah. let's roll the clip. Okay. 6250. 9-11 there, baking. The, there's the 9-11 cake. We stream with Raph and Capri. If we get to this goal by 9-11, Capri, Raph, and I will make the Twin Towers. I hate her face, man. The this is the face of entitlement. Bro, Twitch drama, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, this is the fucking face of entitlement. I... <sighs> I'm so glad she was banned for 30 days. Out of a stacked cake. And we'll make an airplane. And we'll recreate 9-11. In response, this user suggesting to post this image of Frogan. And when we click the link, we can see this uh, Frogan variant meme here. Another user asking, how is she not permabanned yet? Response from the- Denims? Yeah, Denims. Denims is the one I wanted to talk about. That That's who I wanted to talk about. That's what, who we're talking about right after. Probably why she deleted her VODs. Probably yeah, she deleted trove everything. Of evidence of being a t she didn't only delete her VODs, she also deleted everything on her YouTube. She's gone on the cover. Terrible person. Someone oh, else saying sorry. she's been safe till now since no one actually watched her content. <laughs> Literally. Rising star by Literally. She just had an echo chamber. Her Twitch chat is an echo chamber. She had. I looked. I looked up her um statistic. She was averaging three hundred to five hundred um people. It's an echo chamber. And I'm sorry, chat. Mostly. We are an echo chamber here too at the moment, right? <laughs> right now, we're mostly an echo chamber too. I'm not saying otherwise, but I do very much appreciate it if you guys correct me on things I'm wrong with. But she fucking had an echo chamber. <laughs> Wasn't she supposed to be a rising star or was that someone else? No, it was her twice. Twice! She didn't, she didn't rise to anywhere. By the way. Of course, given the recent ban, her Twitch account is currently unavailable. However, even if we go to her YouTube account, we can see that, yeah, it looks like she's deleted any videos that were up. Uh, so yeah, all of this negative stuff for Twitch really seems to have started largely after the recent actions that yep. they took against Asmongold. You could say that the entire thing has been a disaster for the company. Let me know what you think about all of this news and the updates in the comments. And and as always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed my brief coverage, please consider liking and or subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. You are wrong. I don't know why on, on which topic, but you are wrong. Damn it. How dare you. Mods, bend the sky. <laughs>
<laughs> Ban this guy, mods. How dare he disagree with me? <laughs> um. Also, Twitch has been losing advertisers. Yep, Twitch has been losing advertisers. She did rise just sideways. <laughs> Bro, no, 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 no. Too far, too far. I actually think she lost some weight. <laughs> I actually think she had lost some weight from when she used to make mukbang videos. I think she has gotten thinner. Good on her, man. <laughs> Good on her. Echo Chambers will tell you why you are right. Yes. No. I don't know. I hope I'm not an Echo Chamber. Either way, on the same topic, this is on the same topic. I saw this clip, or parts of this clip, but this shit had me pissed off, chat. Denim? I'm gonna be honest, I got no idea who the fuck Denim is. I'm gonna be full on honest, zero idea who the fuck Denim is. But this clip pissed me off. Having to Actually, let me put this over here and move myself. So. Sorry, female Hassan, I see. Relearn. Let me make this louder for you all. Like, this is still on topic. Having to relearn how to adapt in a modern society, because that's what they do, guys. That's what they do. Was this the right one? Yeah, this is the right one. You have to see the shit-eating grin on Denim's face after Tekton describes his dad getting the skin on his legs blown off. She's the one that wanted to put a bounty on- Oh, that bitch! That's her! Yeah, okay, she's disgusting. Don't tell you. <laughs> Inventing had, a guy to feel sorry. They have to readjust into society after being. Uh, my dad's deployed 17 times. Uh, dumb, my dad has dumb. served for over 40 years in the military. Uh, all my family has served. And seeing my brothers before the war and after the war, they became different people. Uh, uh, my, my dad also has PTSD, and it's very awful to fucking see. And seeing him have. But why. Bro. She's just sitting there like. Let me tell you something. There's nothing going on in this brain. Nothing. She doesn't understand what he's saying. She doesn't understand what she's saying. This? This? Pretty privilege. <laughs> to understand, like, what is okay and what's not okay to do and, you know. This? Here's the content. There's the content chat. Right here. That, that's the content. That's the content. See? Her, her face? Confusion. Like, what? Society just what? says, oh, well, you're not at war anymore. Just get over it. And then uh, they come over and they- Like, how is this so hard to understand? Like, huh? Huh? Uh, all my family huh? served. And seeing my brothers before the war and after the war, they became different people. Uh, <laughs> had to uh, my, my dad chamber. also has PTSD and it's very awful to fucking see and seeing him have to understand like what is okay and what's not okay to do and you know society just what? says oh well you're not at war anymore just get over it and then uh, they come over and they, they, they have to relearn <laughs> that they're safe now they have to relearn that they're fucking safe well, what did you mean your dad had to relearn what was okay and what was not okay she she has lived a sheltered fucking life. This woman has no idea about mental health or anything. 100% hyper-privileged fucking woman. It's disgusting. If you look in one of her ears, you can see through to the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me move my hair. Gotta make sure my cleavage is showing. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Time you're at war, is what does you that mean? Is you don't feel safe. Every second you have to take as a blessing because at any time a mortar can drop next to you, near you, your friends are dead. My dad was in the bathroom stall. Okay, he was in the bathroom with one of his best friends. <laughs> Bro, her face is so laughable. Bro, her face is like, she literally has no idea what he's saying. She doesn't understand jack shit. What I don't understand, why is she looking at this clip when she has no idea what is going on? Why? Why is she... And 
to be worse, she's commenting on it in a bit. To be worse, she's gonna comment on it in a bit. Brushing his teeth. Engagement forming. Yeah, probably. One brushing second he's brushing his teeth. His in teeth. the stall? The next second, he doesn't know where he is. He can't hear. He can't see. Context, a bomb fucking dropped. A bomb dropped. See, and his friend is gone. As I'm well ordered. as the yeah. majority of the flesh on his legs, as well as the entirety of his ear, gone. Have you seen my dad? He's pretty much half robot at this point, in case you guys don't know. He's pretty much half fucking robot. Crazy, Because though. a mortar hit the bathroom where he was brushing his teeth. She just doesn't understand what's going on. I hate this clip so much. Such people don't understand that this behavior makes a decent looking woman look ugly and hideous. Agreed. It does. It does. And killed one of his best friends. Her brain is suffering? Yeah. Oh. You can you can feel it. You can feel how hard you can literally hear the gears in her head trying to f spin fast and fast and faster. There's literally smoke coming out of her ears because her brain is working over time. We watch a frogging on this, this the other one. Like, oh my okay. god. Let me see some fat bitch. Her chat is vile? I wasn't even reading her chat. I wasn't even reading her chat, man. I was just looking at her face. Gay, gay. My dad was shitting when his friend was killed. They were very good friends, okay? We're not at war anymore? Bitch ass lying all the time. P they don't know what PTSD is like! Legs, as well as the entirety of his ear. Gone. Have you seen my dad? He's pretty much half robot at this point, in case you guys don't know. He's pretty much half fucking robot. Because a mortar... Hit the Why did he go to war, dumbass? Chat? Americans down here? When? When did American army enlistment become voluntary? And when was it enforced? I'm so tilted. No, never mind, I'm not tilted. I thought the recording was... I thought the recording was broken. I thought I paused the recording. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. 1970s? After 9-11? The last draft was Vietnam? And I'm pretty sure... His dad was drafted. His dad's old. His dad's old, man. So, yeah. The bathroom where he was brushing his teeth. And killed one of his best friends. Okay. And to see some fat bitch go live on the internet and say, ah, I hope they get PTSD. What a horrible fucking thing to say. And now, it would be great if she ever does show true remorse and say, I apologize. That was a moment of ignorance. She I literally apologize. apologized. Stupid for me to say. That, that wasn't an apology. Frogan's apology was a non-apology. She doubled down. I think his uh, brothers enlisted the next day after 9-11. Damn. Wasn't I'm the only real drift? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's been a while since the draft was a thing. Doesn't make military service fully voluntary. All right, all right, all right. All right, I see. I have high respect for anyone who went to the military service. I hate that people don't give vets enough recognition for what they did. This goes to any country vets. Yeah! Yeah! Would be great. But instead, all I've seen is her doubling down. I'm sorry she you feel this way. Yeah. Yeah. What, is <laughs> me. what a joke. Dude, these people are such fucking liars, dude. These people are it, such disingenuous joke. liars. It's an absolute fucking joke. This is genius liars, by the way. Let me let me pull it up. Let me pull up her apology. This is her apology. This. Great apology, by the way. The US military has conducted some of the most horrific crime against humanity in the modern era in countries in such as Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Lebanon, and Palestine. My anger is directed at individuals who are currently championing these war crimes as if they liberated my people. Who? 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 Who's doing that? Who's championing it? 
Fucking soldiers! Ask more soldiers! They hate killing other people! What soldiers want to do is protect their own countries! My fucking god! Who are her people? Isn't she American? She is American! You can argue whether the war is justified or not, but the fact is every soldier who goes through war, their lives change for worse. It does! Like, Jesus Christ, man! Has she ever heard of blaming the government, not the people? Literally! Like, what the fuck? It's horrific and disgusting. The beginning of the clip was worded poorly, and I do apologize for that. <laughs> was it? Was it? But you doubled down after you you said the based the only reason she apologized for this is because She got caught. She isn't sorry for that. She said it. She's sorry the people found out I Go on to clarifying in the clip that I do not mean all military, but specifically those with remorse She specifically said the ones that regret their actions that what they did was wrong after so many years there you go, she used the word apologize. She's clear, 100%. Yeah, 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 she, she's sorry. What I said was out of frustration. Out of frustration was stuffing her fucking face with food. And thanking people for five subs at the same time, within the same breath. Violence breeds violent, yeah. Violence breeds violent, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely right. As they're currently bombing my family in the name of liberation, I realize that wishing people harm isn't the best way to talk about these issues, and that I could have talked about these topics in a more sensitive way. This is such a non-fucking apology. She is not sorry for what she said. She is not sorry at all. Where, where were we? Here. Like, when you fuck up, show remorse and apologize. But I hate these fucking people who shit talk America, who shit talk the uncomfortable things we have to do to maintain a society like this, and then still actively- No, Denims, I think he's right. I now think it's Frogan's fault the soldiers have PTSD. If you disagree with the country so much- Fuck her and her chat. Fuck her and her chat, man. Fuck her and her chat. Then fucking move. Not to sound misogynistic, but she needs to shut the fuck up. How is that misogynistic? This is talking about a fucking retard. She's a retard. End of story. That ain't misogynistic. He didn't even say that? What the fuck? No, no, he didn't say that. Someone in her chat said that, I believe. There's probably what does a moving do? do what? what does moving do? I'll tell you what! You no longer pay taxes in the country that you are against. You're no longer sheltered in the country that you hate so much. Why do you live in a country that you hate? What does moving do? So fucking stupid. There's a song from the mid 80s called 19 that revolves around the US being in Vietnam War, but also how the soldiers that were affected by the war, like getting PTSD, and that soldiers that were as young as 19 being in that war. Jesus, 19! Again, PTSD is a very serious thing. It is! Riddle me this! What does moving it's, it's do? A strong, it's a strong take, and I don't agree. And here's the reason. Move where? <laughs> Anywhere! Anywhere but America, because she hates Americans! Because there's no point, there's no point in trying to reason with this person. Ugh. This is a product of repeat behavior. It is. It's happened for years. It it's is. repeat behavior. Yep. It keeps fucking happening. Yep. Yep. There's no reasoning with this person. So there just isn't. make fun of them and ignore them. That's it. True. True. Because you're not going to change their mind. True. And if Very true. You can't argue with stupid people. You cannot argue with stupid people. Because stupid people will always think that they are smarter than you. Smart people know that they're not really smart that there's more to learn she's immature as fuck she can't comprehend morality she literally can't sheltered fucking daddy's girl that's what she is she's a sheltered daddy's girl living a privileged ass life apologize it's most likely because they actually got fucking caught but but not your buddy Asmongold. Your buddy Asmongold, he seen. meant it. You're more than welcome to link it if that did happen. I have not seen anything like that. Her fucking face, man. Also, what Asmond said wasn't as bad as what people said. He said it in an insensitive way, but the first part of what he said was right. 
The first part of what Esmond has said was right. People that are genociding each other, let them genocide each other. Fucking sucks ass. Obviously, we're not talking about all the fucking civilians, right? But, no, I don't care if someone who kills other people gets killed! Simple! Whoa! Uh, how is that bad? How is that a bad take? I think the reference to the culture is what got him banned, to be honest. I think so too. I think so too. I think that's the one too, that he called them an inferior culture. That's probably the one which was worded very insensitive insensitively and it's a little bit eh. But overall, I see where he's coming from by saying it. After all, that culture that I grew up with, by the way, for 19 fucking years, until I fucking ran away from home because I hated that fucking culture. They hate the gays. They hate anyone. They hate... Okay, obviously it's not every single person there. It's not every single Muslim. No, of course not. But there's a lot of them. It is a lot of them. It's... Mm. Mm. Esmond worded it the wrong. Uh, Esmond worded it wrong. It's true, but he was legit frustrated. But he did deserve that ban. But Twitch being biased is unacceptable. Sure, yeah, sure, sure. He said a culture if which has genocide built on its law is inferior. Is it wrong? I think if there is a culture that has law, uh, genocide built within its culture. Yes, that is pretty bad. That is pretty bad. I agree. The Nepal baby Hassan can have a literal terrorist and not get banned. Twitch can consistency has no bounds. Literally. That's sad. Everyone on that stupid ass podcast got banned but Hassan. Yeah, but that's just Let's me. finish this clip. Let's see what his chat does. To say that, um, say that, but at the same time, that's still um, within the confines of people will, will Nothing say, much uh, more. it's like, whatever, because... Bro, her face... No, no, nobody just... will say pity or whatever, but then then saying that you, you wish to battle somebody is, is that's, that's... Oh, that's fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> she doesn't even know what is being said. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what XQC just said, because it's just classic S XQC. XQC trying to English, literally. I have no idea what XQC is saying here. No idea, but she's like, hey, hey, yeah, that's funny. He's right. She doesn't even know what he said. I don't even know what he said, man. He said Denim's is the dumbest person he ever met. Is that what he said? <laughs> um, within the confines of that, but that's just me. Let's see if his chat does. To say that, um, to say that, but at the same time, that's still um, within the confines of people will, will, will say, uh, it's like, whatever. Because no, no, nobody will say pity or whatever, but then then saying that you, you wish battle somebody is, is that's, that's... Oh, that's I have weird. no idea what he said. I, I, but in a different clip? Uh, not in this clip. Oh, okay, yeah. Literally, I can't, I can't understand what he said. N no idea. No idea, bro. Oh, Lord. No. It's disgusting. This is just playing the same thing again. This is just okay. off of this. It's just disgusting. Disgusting, 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 disgusting. Disgusting behavior. Disgusting as behavior. Yeah. <laughs>